Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Fast Cabling. So imagine a world where a single cable powers up all your devices and eliminating the clutter of multiple cords. So welcome to the magic of power over Ethernet. PoE technology. In today's guide, we'll unravel the mysterious of PoE, empowering you with the knowledge to simplify your technology setup and make informed decisions. And if you have any questions with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts are here to provide you with the solution tailored to your specific needs. So power over Ethernet PoE technology simplifies the way devices are powered and connected by delivering electrical power and data through a single Ethernet cable. PoE has evolved through standards like IEEE 802.3 AF, 802.3 AT, and 802.3 BT standards, each offering varying power levels for different devices. And the key components of PoE includes the power sourcing equipment, short for PSE, which provides power, and the powered device, PD, which receives power, eliminating the need for separate power sources. And this technology streamlines installations, enhancing efficiency and convenience in different applications by eliminating the requirement for additional power cables and adapters. So PoE operates by transmitting electrical power and data simultaneously over Ethernet cable, simplifying device connectivity. This method eliminates the need for separate power lines, enhancing convenience and reducing clutter. PoE involves careful management of voltage, current, and power level to ensure safe and efficient transmission. Ethernet cable categories such as Cat5e, Cat6, and Cat6a play a crucial role. These categories indicate the cable's capabilities to handle data and power, with higher categories like Cat6a supporting greater bandwidth and power levels. And choosing the appropriate cable category is essential for reliable PoE operation, enabling a seamless integration of power and data transmission for different devices. So PoE technology caters to a wide range of devices, categorized based on their power requirements. Low power devices like IP cameras, field IP phone, and sensors typically use PoE for efficient power and data transmission. And high power devices such as wireless access point, displays, and PDZ camera require a more substantial power supply. And differentiating between PoE and PoE++ is vital in understanding power capabilities. PoE+, deliver higher power than standard PoE, suitable for devices with moderate power needs, while PoE++ provides even more power, accommodating high power devices. And this distinction ensures that devices of varying power requirements can be efficiently powered and connected through PoE technology, and making it versatile for diverse applications. So in a PoE setup, PoE switch, PoE injector, and PoE extenders are important components. PoE switch is a network switch that delivers power and data to compatible devices and eliminating the need for a separate power supply. And PoE injector are handy devices that add capability to non-PoE network links, and they inject power into the Ethernet cable, and enabling non-PoE devices can function in a PoE setup. And PoE extender can extend the range of PoE network, allowing devices to be placed further from the power source. And together, these devices make it easier to power and connect devices, and enhancing the feasibility and efficiency of network setup. So now let me introduce you to some of our PoE devices. So PoE switches come in unmanaged and managed switch. 
and Manage switches are easy to use since it has plug and play feature. And Manage switch are equipped with powerful traffic management features like QoS, VLANs, and etc., which is suitable for business and industrial use. And some PoE switches can support high power PoE, which is IEEE 802.3 BT standard, that can support up to 90 watts of output power. And some PoE switches are equipped with SFP transceiver, which allows you to connect with fiber optic cables. Now let's move on to the PoE injectors. We have PoE Plus and PoE Plus Plus, which allows you to support up to 30 watts and 90 watts of output power. And it also comes in an outdoor version, so you can inject power in an outdoor environment. And it's IP67 waterproof rated. And for our PoE extension solution, we come in different type. We have one in, one out, and one in, two out. And they are all IP67 waterproof rated. You can even bury them under the ground. So you can choose the one that is suitable for your situation. So power over Ethernet offers several advantages, including simplified installation and reduced costs, making setup more efficient and cost-effective. PoE provides flexibility in device placement, especially in challenging environment, enabling devices to be in store where a traditional power source might be impractical. Additionally, PoE ensures enhanced safety as it delivers low voltage power. However, there are challenges to consider. Power budget limitations necessitate careful planning to ensure an adequate power supply for all connected devices. Compatibility issues might arise with non-PoE devices and requiring thoughtful integration strategies. So implementing robust strategies can help safeguard against potential threats, ensuring a secure and efficient PoE-enabled network. So PoE finds practical applications in different real-life scenarios. In smart city, PoE powers security systems and smart devices, enhancing the efficiency and convenience of modern living. In businesses, PoE is instrumental in IT infrastructure and Internet of Things application, ensuring seamless connectivity and communication. Industrial sector benefits from PoE in monitoring and control system, improving operational efficiency. So looking ahead, PoE is evolving with advancement in higher power delivery and efficiency, making it even more versatile. And it is increasingly integrated with emerging technologies like 5G, IoT, and smart cities, expanding its capabilities in the digital landscape. Moreover, PoE is contributing to sustainable practice through energy efficient solutions and reduced electronic waste allowing technology with eco-friendly initiatives for a greener future. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for joining us, and I'll see you in the next video.